Well, here's a before photo. This is the dilapidated old FJ40 we started out with to build the FJ43 icon for our client. Here you see some of the new assemblies, the chassis come together. This is uh, the roller phase is complete. We saw the stop tech six piston front brakes with the T40 41 two piece hat rotors. There's the Fox Racing shock and Eibach coil to the 3 8 tower. GM LS generation 5.3. Here you see the CAD CAM pull bench stainless hardware. That's a particular shot, that's the uh, brake system plumbing. And that joins up with the tranny cooler and the fuel lines and all that, which run parallel down the frame on the passenger side. That was the Atlas II T case. There's the serviceable external Bosch fuel filter. There's another one inside of the tank. Here you see the tank with rollover valves and an in-tank pump with sock and uh, basin baffles. And there's the Atlas II again. So there's a quick chassis tour. And here she is done. So as I said, this is one of our FJ43 icons. This particular truck is a new school and it's finished in the Rocky Mountain gray color, probably our most popular color. I don't know, Volcanic might be the most popular. This truck has the uh, six ply insulated soft top option, as well as the auxiliary LED lights all the way around. We're running the uh, Black Rock Teflon coated aluminum wheels. We didn't do a winch on this truck. Client said he didn't need one. So the cavity where the fair lead goes has been replaced by the mount for the front license plate. We set up the coilovers pretty tall in this truck at the client's request. So it has a taller than normal stance for us. And we left the sway bars at their loosest setting. Fortunately, this truck's going to be staying here in California, which is kind of cool because a lot of our trucks leave us and we never see them anymore. This will uh, be a truck we'll continue to service and maintain as the client's a friend and uh, here in Southern California. I've put about 300 test miles on this truck. It's probably another 150 or so, and it's uh, ready to go off to its new owner. I always hate seeing them go. I wish I could just keep yeah, them all. There's some way to continuously build new ones without having to sell them. Uh, that'd be right up my alley. I don't know. What are you going to do? So here in a couple seconds, uh, you'll see some close-up shots. Uh, as we're sort of constantly evolving uh, our products to uh, improve them, we recently updated our headlights. Uh, in the recent past, we updated to LED headlights. These are LED as well, but uh, less diodes and a greater output than our first generation LED headlight on the FJ. This truck also has the auxiliary Vision X LED lights, which are crazy bright, really good product. This bull bar we've just decided to start retailing to owners of vintage FJ40 and 45s. It's a direct bolt-on for stock trucks and a little bit lighter and more tailored than, uh, for example, the ARV bar. Underhood on this truck, we're running the 5.3, so that's a 350 horse, 350 torque. And we're running the 4L65E GM automatic to the Atlas II twin stick shift on the fly part-time four-wheel drive transfer case. There you see the compressor for the ARB locking differentials and the dry sock provided by Turnkey, which keeps uh, dirt from accumulating on the K&N filter. We recently switched from Optima to interstate batteries, uh, more universally available, and they seem to hold a charge in storage for longer periods of time than the Optimas. Radiators designed by Griffin, so that's all uh, done by the same team that does the NASCAR radiators, and then that clamp we import those from Switzerland. They're way better than the U.S. stuff. Here's a little dash tour. So CNC glove box and instrument pod. Cessna source standardized aluminum AC vents. There you see the navigation. Fire extinguisher option. All the knurled knobs. Chilowich textile option on this truck includes the textile in the seats as well as the floor mats which are lined with Dynamat. 
This automatic is by Locar. It's designed to look like a stick, and you push the button in the middle to engage. Audio hides in this secondary uh, compartment in the console, and it's flanked by the four-stage carbon fiber seat heater. In the rear, this truck is set up with four jump seats that's inspired by the factory FJ45 troop carriers, although these jump seats are of our own design and manufacture much stronger than the vintage ones. But it's a unique seating configuration for the FJ43, because now you can seat up to six, but then when you don't have passengers in the rear, you can fold those seats up and lock them in the upright, and then you have a completely open floor bed area, which really is nice and versatile. Our most popular seat for a 43 would be the forward-facing tuck and tumble, but even when you tumble it, you're still left with apparatus on the bed floor, so these uh, jump seats are kind of growing on me.